Good morning. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. My name's Trevor. Today is a gorgeous day. It's Friday and it's a good day to read our day by day devotion. Let's go ahead and dive into that intro and right back into the book. So last time we left off with um, tearing apart Proverbs and tearing apart other uh, um, verses and whatnot. Breaking things down, studying them, and well, really taking God's word, applying it to your life. Today is about losing ain't all bad. Failure is success if we learn from it. Malcolm S. Forbes. That's something that I've like in the past few years I've I've learned a lot is that failure isn't a bad thing. It's it's actually it can be a good thing because you can learn from it. And all those billionaires out there, those big name guys that we just heard about the other day, like Mark Zuckerberg, Steve Jobs, man, they failed so many times and Here's the thing, we just gotta keep failing as many times as they, maybe not as many, but you get what I'm saying. We just gotta keep failing because one time we're gonna succeed. And that's where success comes from, is the perseverance that can keep going. Oh, dropping all my all my bookmarks there. Anyway, let's go ahead and read this. Losing ain't all that bad. <clears throat> I hate to sound like a cheesy motivational po poster, but the quotation above is absolutely true. Losing ain't all bad. Watch what happens after a close a close little league or high school basketball game. The teams jog out to the right field and left field, and everyone takes a knee. After the winning team has a short meeting with lots of high fives and very little instruction, the losing coach goes quite a bit longer, pointing out skills that need improvement and beginning to strategize about which areas to work on for the next practice. You've seen it dozens of times. But wait a second. Outfielders from both teams missed hitting the the cutoff. Man. Batters from both dugouts missed signs. Took some called took some called third strikes. Oh, okay. Took some called third strikes and failed to advance the runner in the key situations. That day, members of the losing team learned something after the game. The winners didn't. The next day, the losing coach is going to push his team a little harder. The winning coach may not. It's no, it's no fun to lose. But I dare say, if the losing coach is getting the job done, the next time those two teams play... The result is going to be different. After a disappointing performance, the last thing you want to do is throw a bunch of cliche clicks at your kid. Cliches, cliches. I think that's what that is. At your kid. But the fact is that while it's fun to win, most improvement happens because you don't want to lose again. What about you? This lesson goes beyond sports, of course. As a matter of fact, Paul wrote to the Romans that we shouldn't simply endure setbacks. We should actually rejoice in them. We can rejoice, too, when, the run, when we run into problems and trials. For we know that they help us develop endurance. Romans 5.3 That is a very good point. Like I was saying, we can learn from our mistakes. And the bad things that come to us, bad things that happen, be thankful for them. Be thankful for them. Um, it's it's really changed my life, being thankful for the, the things that upset me, that hurt me the most. It's it's another way of, of, I don't know, I feel another way of letting God know, hey, I trust you, let's get through this. Help me, show me the way. And to me, that's that's where it's at. That's where I've got to be. That's where where I am. That's where I want my kids to be. I don't want them to be like, man, I just got a flat tire. Crap! What am I gonna do? Ah, I don't got a spare. I don't ha I don't have any money. You know, I don't want I don't want them to be stuck in that hole of 
great, 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 great. Oh, man. I wanted to be like, you know what? I got a flat tire. Thank you, God. This is an opportunity for me. Because maybe, maybe that flat tire delays them from, uh, you know, delays them from on their being on their way to somewhere. But they miss a bad wreck or, you know, it sets them behind just enough to where they're back in God's plan. That's that's honestly how I feel about it, a lot of things. So anyways, I'm gonna take you guys inside and show you a little something different. Let's go. Right after you. Oh yes. A dinner vlog? Spaghetti and meatballs. What do you think? Good. Good? What do you think? Don't touch it! I mean, you can stir it, it'd be okay. Not like that, not like that, not like that. Stir it, there you go, there you go. Dad, I want to Yeah, be careful, it's sauce. warm. It looks good. It's so good. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Dinner vlog. Whew. Dinner was delicious, and now we're watching my buddy John. I know it's hard to see. We're watching his live stream on his YouTube channel, Daily Electrician. Go check it out real quick. Anyways, I think that's going to do it for today. Something short, sweet, good to eat. <laughs> we'll catch you in the next vlog. Have a great night. God bless. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got it fix in you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.